oil for Andy here. Right, leg of lamb, and I'm gonna do a Mediterranean roasted leg of lamb. Now this is gonna be slow cooked for four to five hours in the oven and with all the different spices and everything. So, uh, right, let's get down there and I'll show you what we got. Right, what we want, want for this basically, um, first of all, your leg of lamb, that would help. And then we have on here, we have, I've got 15 peeled garlic cloves, which I am gonna crush up in a minute. And then two tablespoonfuls um, of oregano on there. There's one tablespoonful of dried mint flakes. We've got a half a tablespoonful of just ordinary uh, paprika. And then we've got a half of a tablespoonful of nutmeg. And then that's a half a cup of extra virgin olive oil. So you can see there. And we want the juice of two lemons. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. Right, so the first things we need to do is to crush this garlic up. Now, you can do this in a food processor if you want. and crush everything up. I'm going to do it like this, the old traditional way. We're going to mince all this lovely garlic. Get it all nice and smooth and crushed up. So I'll get on with this, and then we'll come back when I've crushed it. Right, that is 15 cloves of garlic being crushed in there. So we're now going to put all the spices which I mentioned. That is all going to be dumped into the same bowl. This is all the marinade what's going to be wrapped and cooked in. And then we need a little bit out of the way. The juice of two lemons. Now if you haven't got fresh lemons, Use the old, um, use the, uh, you can use that sort of juice uh, if you haven't got fresh lemons. I have, so we're gonna get the juice out of these. Just do it, make sure there's no pips or anything um, go in there. Right, let me get on with this. That's the uh, two lemons juiced. Then we got a half a cup of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, and we mix that into the bowl as well. And I want to get a spoon, a big old spoon, and mix this all around. Now you can do this in a food processor if you wish. I'm going to mix it by hand. Wow, well, the price of olive oil, absolutely how that's gone through the roof. Um, just went and picked some up because I was out of olive oil. I couldn't believe it. I really, really couldn't believe the price of it. Absolutely. Wow. 250 mil bottle for a five and a half quid, I think. I ended up getting the Morrison's extra virgin olive oil. I think that was about six and a half quid, that was. Absolutely. Well, how that's gone up. Right, that's all mixed in. Right, the next thing we do, move that out of the way. Next thing we do is you move this leg of lamb on this parchment paper. Now, where we get some nice deep cuts into this, this is where it's all going to be rubbed in, this marinade. And what I've done. Nice. Nice cuts. Right, we're going to end up something like that. Right, next stage now is to get this marinade, and I'm going to wrap that in this paper as well as for it. And get this marinade in here, and we're gonna all in the cuts. Get this all stuck down, rubbed in, 
And don't forget that stain in this paper so that will cook into this and all. Right, let me get this marinade all sorted out. Right, that's all the marinade over, rubbed in, in all the deep cuts, the lot. So what I'm going to do now, just wrap this in this part of the paper, like so. And we'll get some foil. Right, that's the foil. I'll put two, two sheets together like that, because I want to get this well wrapped. All this with the parts of paint and the juices in. And they're going to slap on the middle there. And then we're going to wrap this up. A bit like when I did, um, I was do something on the barbecue the other day. Was that chicken or something that was? Yeah, this ain't going on the barbecue. The weather's too crap for that. This is definitely an oven job. Right, I'm not going to leave that in the fridge for two hours. All right? And then when we come back, we're going to put it onto the rack, keep it wrapped. And that's going to cook in here on a low heat. It's probably somewhere around about 160-ish, around about four hours. And then after that, what we do then is take all the take all the wrapping off and everything. We then give it another hour to an hour and a half, and we should end up with a lamb tender, falling off the bone, absolutely gorgeous. We're going to have spuds with it, all done in paprika, um, some lovely peppers etc um some nice onions they're all going to be roasted on the tray with this as well um, but we don't put them until later because this is going to be like a long process i mean you can do this uh well i don't know in a, in a couple of hours or so and then you put your spuds on but i want a nice well done process where it's fallen off the bun so we'll let this marinate and i'll come back to you when we're ready to put it in the oven right i'm back um the uh lamb has been gone over over three and a half hours now, so we're getting close to unwrapping it. <clears throat> I did have a little look. We're getting close to unwrapping it and then finishing it off and everything with the vegetables. So I've got some nice old Bartlett red potatoes. I know this is fifty percent off, but as I said, they're only having a refit. So, uh, yeah, let's grab them while we can. So I want to peel these as well and cut these into little little quarters, whatever. Now we're going to go in the tray with it. Some nice sweet red peppers. And we'll do some red onions as well. Right, let's get on with it. Right, well that's the red onion. I've just uh, peeled and just cut into quarters. Then all we've got to do now, um, just peel some of these nice red potatoes. Um, as I say, it's 50% off these, so we're uh, well pleased with that really. Them bits out. Um, yeah, so uh, then we cut these up and we cook these in in with the lamb and all the juices and everything. Um, but I'm gonna obviously put some smoked paprika into these as well. Bad bits out. that thing and then all we want is sort of do anything too too big to be fair um just some little little cuts that weren't too good that one perhaps as well as 50 percent off <laughs> anyway look, i'll get on with these right that's the peppers done i'll just cut the ends off where the stalks were red onions done buds done i've just washed all them so next thing I'll do is like, chuck them in that bowl, like so, and uh, we're going to get just a little bit of olive oil, probably a tablespoonful in there, and then smoked paprika, if I can find it, that's the smoked one, I'll use the normal on the other, and we're going to give a good, good tablespoonful or so of smoked paprika. And then what it is basically just going around coating it. Like so. A little bit more if you want it. Mix 
that in. Right, that's the spuds coated. Just wash my hands. Right, next stage, a little bit of salt, nothing too heavy. Black pepper. This is grey black pepper. Right, give them a shake. No, no, ready for the tin. Right, just pulled the pulled the lamb out. Get you a bit closer, eh? And this has been gone. Just ran about three and a half hours. This has, and that's what we've got so far. Looks absolutely delightful and smells gorgeous. So what we need to do now? Ouch! Bit up. Get this over here. Can. Get rid of all this foil. Hang on one sec. Right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Transfer that. All the juices into the roasting tank. Right, we'll get rid of that for a sec. That so far is the lamb. Out and all the juices, then go into that tin. Oh, this smells delicious. Right, I'll come back to you in a sec. Right, that's the lamb. Got that out, got everything on, I poured all the excess juices in there. Now, the next thing I will do, I've just got, now if you've got a lamb stock cube, use it. If not, I've used a beef one. And you want a little quarter of a point in the bottom. You don't want much at all. Just mix that up. I just tip that in the bottom that goes in there and then what I'm gonna do I've got just a few runner beans and some purple sprouting broccoli I'm gonna turn this over because it's already starting to fall off the bone and I'm setting the meat on top of that all right and then we've got our potatoes as you see here and these are all going to be placed in this tin like so along with the red onion as well it's going to go in and the lovely sweet peppers that going in as well right let me get on with this a sec right that's all the veggies in the tin i've flipped that over i've lowered the heat down now to 150 and I want to do this now for about a half an hour, between a half an hour and an hour. But what I will do in about 20 minutes, I'll look at it and I may flip that back over um, and everything. But yeah, so uh, I'll get this in the oven and uh, come back to you when it's done. Right, here we are out of the oven. Now we've had roughly all together four and a half hours. And this is a half a leg of lamb, not a full leg. So um, obviously adjust the old uh, cooking times accordingly. Right, we're gonna get this dished up. Well, I'm just gonna break this meat off here. That is so tender, that's just falling off the bone. As you can see, look at that. Wow, do we need to do much more to it? Right, leave this with me. Right, well here we are then. The Mediterranean lamb. It's absolutely gorgeous on the plate. Um, yeah, I haven't tried it yet, so I got no idea what it's like. I know it fell off the boom when it was being cut. But um yeah wow that is so tender that lamb is so so tender it's breaking up right let me get you up here because we want to try this out i must uh i must try this lamb out because i really need to Wow. Oh, wow. That is really, really nice. 
done the potatoes as well in there, as you see when I put them in. Quite hot. <laughs> you can taste the garlic, you can taste the oregano coming through. That's nice. I need to try these sweet peppers as well. What have been roasted in the oven with them. Oh, that's insane. That is so nice. You've got some nice juices left in the tin as well. I'm just going to tip a few more juices over the meat. And, wow, the job is a good one. That is fantastic. That, that lamb has really come out so tender, it just falls off a bone. And the flavours... Oh well. Right, well, I'm going to sit down and enjoy this. There it is. And I'm really pleased with that one. Oh, yeah, I'm really, really pleased. Um, yeah. What can I say? I tried fruits, it's in the recipe. Mediterranean style lamb. Um, normally done with a whole leg. I had a half a leg there. So obviously you just need maybe just to adjust the times for cooking um, for a full leg, maybe just a little bit longer, but yeah, pleased with that, really am. Thanks for watching everyone, um, comments below, um, are you going to try it? I don't know, it's entirely up to you people. Um, I think that's banging, I really do. Um, not because I cooked it, but it's just the flavours. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so to help the channel. And I'll catch you lovely people in the next one. There's loads left over as well, look. The old meat on there. Ooh, I'll pick up that later. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Cheers.